I'm not even going to read that. So, as a lot of you may know, uh, I don't upload videos of this game until, like, a while. Um, that is because every time I finish a level, I'm going to edit it, then upload it, and then I'm go and then after I get done uploading it, I'm going to play the game again. So I don't play this game for like three to five days at a time, which I'm sorry for. So uh, first of all, I hope I hope people are like enjoying the videos that are coming out as like as they are. Shut up, Jarvis. We're sucking the frames out, baby. Get fucked. Get fucked. In your face hole with my knee. Whoa. Jesus, dude. Oh shit. Uh can I can I make that? I don't think I can make that. I'm too fat for that. Oh, there's this guy. Uh micro missiles, Jesus. Yes, please. That sounds amazing. Micro missiles. Blue access only racist oh what I just saved myself without even like noticing I understand ma'am this place is legitimately burning I understand that the core temperature is rising what I don't know is how Oh, there we are. Frames are back again. Uh, also, I want to congratulate uh, everyone. And uh, uh, I, I was going to say congratulate myself also, but that would sound like douchey. So what I'm going to say is that I'm going to thank everyone for uh, helping me reach uh, 420 views. I don't do anything myself. I am probably one of the uh, biggest pussies in all of mankind. But um, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't have. A, I've got a ton of friends that like you know they do do that 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 type of stuff. That was an explosive barrel that literally just swam through lava and didn't explode. It's retarded. Where, oh wait, uh, I keep, I keep thinking like, where the fuck am I supposed to go when I don't notice that there's actually a little tiny marker thing up there telling me go this way. Ugh. Get wrecked. Oh my god, it's the shield guy again. God damn it. Good thing I have my micro missiles. That was a grenade. Get fucked. Headshot. One shot, one kill. Get some. Oh, shit. There's a lot of health lost. But this time, I'm actually going to, like, do well. And, uh actually not try to be fucking garbage at this game cuz this is this is like the hardest difficulty so i have to try and not be shit to impress all of you people i'm thinking about uh doing a rage playthrough on the side of this so uh, you guys can oh my god jesus christ 
Oh, there's so much. I, I'm dead. Exactly the thing that I didn't want to do. It just came out of nowhere. Fuck me in the ass. Alright. Fuck. Oh no. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back. Get fucked. Ooh. There's a secret up there. I want a secret. I want a secret enough to get up there. Oh. I'm stupid. Impact compensation. Oh my god, no. Where am I? Where is this? Oh. Can I break the game again? I want to break the game again. Oh, slight, slight glitching. Very slight. Oh, is that going to be a red key card? No. Oh. Well, I, I don't. I don't think that was a red key card. I keep fucking slamming something on. All right, there's the explosive shot. Alright, now where am I supposed to go now? Oh, up here. Fucking parkour master. I belong on uh, the Minecraft parkour team. Hit me up, BBs. I keep thinking that I have to reload. So, oh. Oh, God. Uh, yes. Okay, so... Ooh, that was too good. Oh, I can make that jump. I keep thinking I've got to reload. I love the sound that it makes whenever it just, like, skirts off. Can I just shoot that? No, I can't. I'll be taking this. Thank you. Ooh. I, I don't think I've seen you guys before. Whatever. Bust your scapula. Just fuck him up. That reminds me of the thing from King Kong, where like he snaps the, the jaw of a uh, like one of the T-Rex thing or the, yeah, I think the T-Rex. And that was like pretty cool to me. I've, I I don't really remember anything about King Kong, but if there was something I had to remember, it would be him snapping the jaw of that T-Rex. That was like literally the most badass thing I've ever seen as a child. Like I looked at that and I was like, holy shit. That's pretty fucking dank. Just keep snapping shit on here. Go, go, Gadget. Fuck you. <laughs> Just need his face to death. I don't know where I'm going. Hope it's somewhere I need to be though. Fuck you. Okay, there we go. I'm actually, at least, I'm actually surprisingly uh, better at this game. Not really sure how. I mean, I suck at all video games. I mostly suck at shooters. And since this is a shooter, I expect to suck at it. Oh, um, that's a secret over there. I'm gonna secret the fuck out of this. That wasn't a secret. 
Never mind. Oh. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Dude, I love the I love the field of view thing on how it's like so far away. It feels like my character is literally leaning back and shooting these people. There's a gore nest over there. I'm gonna go get that gore nest. I'll be taking this again. Whoa! What is going on? I was like, my uh, my controls are a little bit wonky right there. Worth it. I love the glory kills. They're literally the best part of this game. Just glory kill over and over again. Let's go uh, get that uh, chainsaw. If I can figure out what. There it is. Come on. Come on, man. I'm ready. Let's go. Holy shit, I just like teleported 50 feet in front of that dude. That's pretty cool. Ah, is there something on my arm? I felt like someone was biting my arm. No! Oh my god, I s that scared the shit out of me. Like it hit. Oh my god. Get fucked, kid. Get fucked. Fucked. Jesus. I, I, I really enjoy the Doom guy. And another gun, because I definitely need this. Stay focused. Stay committed. I think I remember this gun from Doom 3. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember it now. Ooh, fuck yeah. I'm secreting right now. I just secreted. All in my pants. I've got a raging clue, there's a secret. You know, I had this, uh... I have this friend, his name is Ian. Smartest motherfucker I've ever met in my life. But, he's like, he... We were playing Destiny. And I mean, like... Sometimes me and him just talk about the dumbest shit. And I really hope that, like, pretty soon he can get a PC so that we can start, like, playing together in these types of video games. Um, so, like, what I, uh, what, uh, I mean, me and him used to play Destiny on the Xbox One a lot, but I haven't played an Xbox One since I got this computer, which was about October 2015. And so, uh, me and him were just thinking, like, what do, like, video game enemies think? Like, what, what do they, if they were conscious, what would they think? Like, there's a guy that's, that can literally just slaughter hundreds of thousands of them without even, like, trying. And, like, if they kill him, it seems like a, a, ma like a major achievement. But, he just keeps coming back. They can't kill him. He just keeps coming back. And he just slaughters everyone. Until he gets to the... To like the big honcho and then... And then kills the main gay. I'm gonna fucking wreck you, dude. I'm gonna fucking wreck you. I will smash your fucking... E... Ow. E smashed my dick in. I'll be taking this for the second time today. Get... Fuck! You know what? I don't even feel like you deserve a glory kill. Who's been- Oh shit, I was all like, who's shooting me? Probably the enemies. And I just fucking killed myself again. So, also, uh, yesterday, I was at work, and it was probably the, like, toughest day of work I've ever had. Because, like, what happened was that we have a big ass sign out there saying like because I work at a gas station so like the there's like this huge sign outside 
that says like 189 with the purchase of a car wash but the with the purchase of a car wash is super tiny on this huge ass sign so it like wait did i even get the shit out no i didn't even get the shit out of the gore nest i just fucking ran away do i even need the gore nest anyway so at my job i was just trying to like do my own job and everything first of all let me tell you how like how like in some ways it was really fun because there was like i was just like thinking to myself old people they're like the best fucking types of people because when they come in they're like the sweetest fucking things on this on the face of the earth so so like there was also this like beef jerky that since i work at a at a convenience store it's like it's like uh everything is like bumped up in price so this uh this beef jerky that's like eight dollars everywhere else is like uh fifteen dollars at my store or at my work so one dude he was like probably 50 60 he come he comes up to me and i was like thinking to myself hey like i i talked to him i was like hey is that fifteen dollar jerky like worth it like worth buying i'm like is it like just really that good and he's all like well i mean it's really good but if it was the only 15 dollars i've had i i'll ever have i would not spend it on this and i was all like okay so i mean it's not like super good but if you want to if you're like really in the mood for beef jerky that would probably be the beef jerky you'd want to buy um and then uh I, I, he's all like, I mean, you want to try some? I was all like, you just spent $15 on a, on like this small bag of jerky and you're actually like saying that you'll give me a piece? And he's like, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see why not. And so, I mean, like that was like the sweetest thing anybody's done. That's like one of the sweetest things anybody's done for me at my work. Pretty much all the things that people have done like really kind were like old people at my work because the first uh the first first nice thing was that there was like an old dude and he bought like two scratch off tickets and uh, uh i really like felt super out of it so i really didn't look like i was like enjoying myself there and so he's all like he seemed a bit down here i'll uh I hope you win something. So he rips off a piece of, uh, like, he rips off one of the uh, uh, scratch-off tickets and throws it over to me. And since it's like a piece of paper, it just kind of like, like waves around in the wind. But it it fell on the front of the desk, or it fell on the on like the top of my uh, counter. So that was that was really sweet of him to do, and it was just really cute how he was like. Uh, he was walking away, and then he just kept turning around to see my smiling face. He's just, he, it was like the cutest fucking thing ever. And, uh, so now back to the, back to the thing why I had a really shitty day. So later on in the day, probably about an hour after that beef jerky dude left, another old dude came in, and he just, he seemed a bit, like, like, rough, like, pissed off or something. Cause he really didn't talk to me in a like a nice tone of voice, and he's all like, "So what? Uh, like, uh, what the fuck am I supposed to do with, uh, you know, the gas and whatnot? If it's like 184, what would he? He didn't understand the price, the the like why the pricing was there, and he didn't understand about the whole car wash situation and blah 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 blah. So he just got really upset at the price of the gas." And we've been having like troubles with one of with like number one in our gas uh, in our gas pumps like all day. And he's the one that just wanted to use number one. He just got really pissed off, and uh, like he just started cussing out everybody when it, when we couldn't like really help him out because we couldn't control anything. Uh, even though we're we're like, even though we're like the people that work there, 
we couldn't really control the fact that it wasn't working. That's for somebody who understands that that type of technology. And so uh, he's he just got all pissed and he's all like, how do you guys not know how this works? You guys are working here. Just fucking idiots. And he just started cussing out everybody. I'm like, sir, I mean, I don't think there's any reason for that. And he's just all like, how would you feel if you if this shit was happening to you? I'm like, I'd probably be upset, but I wouldn't be like taking it out on innocent people. And he just started going off and everything. Then I mean, I kept I kept calm throughout the whole thing, but I was still like pretty like not not entirely irritated. I was just like, Jesus, dude. It was just a little just a little uh, upsetting to have that happen in the day. And afterwards, I got really stressed out. And like, well, I mean, it it wasn't like well a after the argument came up and. Fuck, I've... <laughs> they're fucking everywhere. And so after me and the old guy's argument, like, ground to a halt, and he left, I gave him his money back and everything, I just got so stressed out from that. And, like, the stress just built up to the point where, like, I just I just started crying, and I was all like, hey, I'm going to take a break. And well, uh, one of my uh, employees was all like, all right, sure, sure, dude. I'll see you when you get back. And then another one of my one of my employees came in, and she's all like, "Oh my God, what happened?" And I was all like, "Ah, oh, just an asshole came in, stressed me out." I mean, like, I it's not the first time I've dealt with an irate customer. It's really, it's. I mean, I've dealt with irate customers before. I used to work in fast food, so there's going to be. A lot of irate customers and uh, you know I, I just don't understand how people are like 30 years old 60 years old all like just they're supposed to have knowledge on how to be an adult and they choose not to abide by normal behavior patterns and they just want to be rude it's you're not gonna go in there being like a 30 year old person with like children and just go off on the smallest little things like oh my god there was just too much mustard on this burger I'm like well we can get mustard like taken off of it or we can give you another burger with less mustard and then they just because I mean that's that's one thing that happened this there was this one lady and she got pissed off because there was too much uh, too much mustard on her child's burger. And she started cussing out the cooks and everything. Oh, fuck! This fucking guy. She's all like, I, I, I asked for one, I asked for a burger for my child. And it has enough mustard for like five burgers. And... Given that she probably has come over here before into the re into the very restaurant that she's making herself look like a fool in, she's probably eaten there before, and she probably understands that we put a fuck ton of mustard on it. And if she wanted a little bit less mustard, she probably should have asked for less mustard, like many people do. <sighs> anyway, it's just people stressing me out. I, I don't know, I mean, like, probably the worst part of it all is that, like, even though you have all these customers that are just, like, just getting pissed off at you, and I mean, sure, you're getting paid, or I'm getting paid around $8 an hour for all the stuff that I'm doing, and, uh, I mean, I, sh I definitely think it's, like, understandable for the job I'm doing, because I'm really not doing much. I don't understand why fucking McDonald's employees want to get paid $15 an hour because they really don't do much. I worked in fast food. I understand that it's really not that much. It's just the customers that just piss you off sometimes. And as I was saying, I think the worst part of uh, going to work uh, with a chance of... Uh, we'll, we'll, 
the worst part about going to work and find, getting an up irate customer, just getting so pissed off at the most like soft things. It just, it kind of sucks that there's no, there's like no form of compensation, because I mean, for me, I I'm a pussy. I'm a pussy. I I I get that. And I mean, sometimes I'm pretty sensitive to like some things, like uh, like the fact that I, I'll get stressed out, and if I get, fuck, I was just about to get some fucking health. And the, I mean, the fact I get stressed out and I'll like break out or, or like break down and some some mental breakdown or shit, whatever. It's it's just it makes me like a little bit depressed for a certain amount of time. Depending on how bad the uh, argument was. Oh shit! There was a weapon over there. And so, like, I just feel that the that there's like a problem that there's no. There's like zero compensation for that type of shit. I mean, at least, like, I don't know. Give me a free fucking hot dog or a drink or something. I don't know. Compensation. Doesn't need to be huge compensation, like a fucking raise. Like, oh, I don't, I don't think it's worth eight dollars an hour. It probably is, but then again. I'm not getting that money until two more weeks, so I'd probably prefer immediate compensation, like the day after, so I don't have to wait two weeks. Yeah, whatever. Just rambling. That's what I do. This is why. This is why me and me and uh, me, Ryan and Brandon, are planning on doing a little podcast thing every now and again. So that there's like a little, uh, just a little rambling series that goes off. Like, uh, I kind of want to do that thing that, uh, Boogie, Boogie2988 does, where he just rambles about stuff that's happened, like, in the week or during the month or something. Rambling seems like, uh, probably one of the big things that I do. Whether it's like to a friend or just by myself, like occasionally I'll talk to myself. Like, fuck! I just looked at my health and I was like, oh fuck, two percent health. I really gotta, really gotta work on that. Really gotta work on not being shit at this game. Anyway, uh, rambling is pretty much what I do on a daily basis, whether it be by myself or to like a friend or something. Uh, Often, whenever I'm alone at my job, if I'm like trying to do something that's like really, really, like physically stressful on me, because uh, I'm really not that strong. I mean, I I work out every now and again. I lift, I lift. But uh, it's like if if there's like something that's like a shit ton of. Like, if there's a lot of weight on this, and it's, like, trying to lift it up, and, like, sometimes I'll probably give myself, like, a little pep talk every now and again. Like, I'll probably be all like, hey, you got this, Chase, you can, or, like, if I, uh, if I'm, like, in the freezer or something, and I'm, like, because I'm really, I love the cold, but it's, like, I'm not very good in cold climates, or temperatures or not really sure how to put that just like if I'm in a cold place and like I just like talk to myself and like hey you can if it gets too cold for you you can step out of the freezer at any time yeah, you got this you're almost done and all that shit <sighs> I, wait why haven't I not <laughs> why haven't I not used the chainsaw yet can I like one shot that dude Ooh. Can I one shot that other dude as, with the chainsaw? Oh, never mind. Fuck my ass. You know, I'm wondering, is it, is there supposed to be? I'm pretty sure there was bosses in Doom Three, like little mini bosses. I'm I'm already on the third stage of this game, and I still haven't found one boss. I got a plasma rifle. Ooh. 
get fucked. Hey. You remind me of that, uh. Zero. Two. That one lady. The lady that voiced the girl off of Wreck It Ralph. The, the the lady that reminds me of Ellen DeGeneres, but with gray hair. She was in Glee, I think. I never watched Glee. I thought it was pretty stupid. I don't remember what her fucking name is. You could not have saved. Saved what? What did you just do? Um... I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I, uh... I feel like that was probably really dramatic. Oh shit, I don't have ammo. Or do I? Get fucked. Get fucked, and... Get fucked. Did I win? The system won't allow anyone but Olivia to override it now. We will have to shut down the Argentower manual. Oh shit. Th there could have been a secret over there. All right. Well, that was I. Right.